Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt, channel of 943 and in today's video I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and highlights on the new 2020 Volume 2 catalog for MTH. Overall, it was an okay catalog. You know, it's not the best I've seen, not the worst. So it's right there in the middle, so we'll go and show you guys here. One quick thing that I'm going to, I'm probably going to eventually do it is the Wi-Fi unit. My remote, the thumb wheel on, it's all screwed up. It doesn't really work as well as it should. It skips on speed steps and things. So I'm thinking I'll do the Wi-Fi probably this year sometime. And I'll still use the remote, but the Wi-Fi, you know, the Wi-Fi has grown on me. You know, when my uncle, he's got it, and I've used it. It's good. But, you know, after a while, I find myself using it more and more. I really do like it. Alright, so I'll start off with some Real King Steam. We have the Burks, the Hudsons. I've always been a Hudson fan, and this New York Central is really cool. Of course, I've always been a Central fan, too, so that's that. Some Pacifics. These are pretty nice. The I believe these are from a couple catalogs back, but these B&Os are really cool. Four six O's. Then we have the Commodore Vanderbilt Hudson. These are really cool. This breast cancer one's really nice. You know, I really wish either Lineout or MTH would come back with a scale version of it. MTH, I don't think it has the tooling for one. But Lineout did one in the 90s, and it's getting old. They've also, I'm waiting for a rerun of the Yellow Belly Hudson. Because, you know, that's been, I think, almost 30 years for that. You know, after a while, to put the, to buy one and put all the upgrades in it, it would be about the price of a new one. So it's like, you know, I'd rather just wait for it to come out. The 49ers, again, scale please. RS1, these are really nice. This Long Island is really cool. Yeah, I don't have any Long Island diesels. I only have a steam engine right now. So maybe I'll do one. RS3s, these are cool. I'm happy they have smoke, but none of the road names are really Biting out, biting out at me here. FA2s, E8s, I'd rather do a scale version. These Jeep 2s are cool. This PLE and NYC are really nice. C628s and 30s, this Lehigh Valley is nice. SW1500s, MP15s. Scroll back one. No, you, you know. My NW2, which is, I believe it's slightly longer than this, you know, it's got smoke, it's got a special motor that runs, it's in the fuel tank and it runs both trucks, kind of like how an Atlas engine works. It's got smoke, it's got fixed pilots. I mean, come on. It doesn't affect the curve, it'll still do 31, no problem. I Granted, I haven't tested it, I ran out 36, but the point is, is, it'll still do tight curves. It's not like... All because you put a fixed pilot on an engine that's 13 inches long, it means it's 72. Not at all. And I'll talk more about that later on. But you know, come on. FA2s or what are these? PAs again? Scale. I'll do one. Aero train. These are cool. This Pennsylvania is really calling my name. That or the New York Central. SD70s. Nah. Again, I'll do scale. However, these, I don't mind. These ES44s, these are really pretty cool. You know, obviously they're semi-scale, which that's nature of the beast. But, you know, I have the club version. It's really, it's a nice engine for what it is. You know, it's not terribly small. But it's it's a decent sized engine. So, we'll see. I don't know. Some cars to go with these. We get to this, you know, I'm not a politics guy by any means, uh, so these, no, but if I had to do something to honor a president, I'd probably do the trolley, probably just the Trump trolley, the Biden trolley, I don't know. That's if I would even do anything, you know, I, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a political guy, so I wouldn't want an entire train of, you know, engine Caboose and what would this be? Four cars for each? No, maybe a, maybe a trolley, but it's not high on the list at all. It's probably way deep down in the list. Subways, you know, I feel like after MTH, 
shows the R40s after those show up. I would think we'd see some more Premier Subways, but these Rail King Qs, these are really nice. This blue one's really cool. So is the low Vs. You know, I have an MTH, the D train, and I also have the QT set from Lionel. And they're very nice sets, so I'm thinking about adding another one. Some freight. You know, Rail King Freight. I really wish they would just not do Rail King Freight at all, period. And just do the Premier stuff, because it's so close to Premier anyway. But, what do I know? Alright, so again, the Premier Steam now, this... T1, these are cool. I'm happy they have whistle smoke. Got a bunch of choices here, so I guess you pick the road number or scheme you want and go. The one thing that irks me, and you know, I've said this before, is this wireless tether. This thing is really a pile of garbage. You know, if you have any dip in your track, this thing will find it and shut off right away. It's annoying, but whatever. I personally rather do an old one and just forgo the whistle smoke. Big boys, you know, I think I see another big boy. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've seen a big boy now about 12,000 times in a book. You know, MTH, I think is this is part of their, I think, sixth or seventh time they've done it in the past couple of years. You know, after a while, how cool is actual sounds of a 4014 going to be after it's all digitized and all that crap they do to it, you know? No. The Americans, these are cool, you know, this ESC, I've said it when it came out last catalog that I missed out on the first time and I really regretted it. This is a really nice engine, so we'll see. Burks, you know, I really wish these would A, have whistle smoke, but B, I wish they would do a non-Mars light front on this thing. That'd be nice. The 44 tonners, if there's anything that screams needs fixed pilots, it's this. Come on, I mean, what's going on? You got Bachman one that'll do everything this one does. I mean, okay, it doesn't have command, it doesn't have couplers that you throw from the remote because no command, but it's got fixed pilots. After that, it does everything else this thing does. Come on, MTH, fixed pilots for Christ's sake. S2s, this Long Island one's really cool, but I already have two S2s. I really don't need a third, but if I was to do one, that would be that would be my choice. Torpedo Jeeps, or at least the B&O and these other two. I really wish they would do a proper Jeep sound set that has passenger announcements in it. Because they did the Jeeps a long time ago, I believe 2000, 2001. And they didn't do, they did the torpedoes, but they didn't do passenger announcements, at least not on the box. So I, I don't own one, so I can't verify that, but it'd be nice if we got a proper announcements, passenger announcements on a Jeep. You know, F3s and F7s, they kind of count because they have the same prime mover, but it'd be nice if we had a factory Jeep that had it. SD45s, the Redding one's cool. We have the SD35s. Yeah, I've never been the biggest fan of these things. It kind of reminds me of a shrunken down Jeep 35. Jeep 38-2s. This no fork saw them and that's not just as much as any of these other stuff. So definitely, I'm still waiting on line. I'll do one, but MTH is close enough. So probably. Same with this. This CP. I really like the half US and half Canadian flag. Oops. F3s, you know, I'm really liking these. This Santa Fe is really cool. The plating on these is gorgeous. You know, I've seen the plating before. It's really cool looking. Some centrals in the cigar band. These are really cool. 40s, no. 40-2s, no. These SD70s, you know. This thing, I don't get what people like about this thing. It's, nah. It, it looks funky looking. I don't care for it. The CPs, I really wish they would have done it ACU. If they would have, I probably would have done the CP one. That's really neat looking. 70 M's, 70 Max, the CSX is really cool. 
ES44 is this nickel plate, it's nice. CSX rolling stock. No. Turbo train, this thing was a pile of crap. You know, I don't care if they'll redesign the tether or whatever they do. I wouldn't take it if it was free. That's how much I hate the thing. P5As, these ones are really cool. The M's, I'm liking those. Here's some rolling stock. There's some kind of neat rolling stock pieces in here. This Wolfo box car is really cool. This, these PS2 CDs are cool. The Lionel version of these are really nice. We have some hoppers here. The Pensy is really nice. The three base center flow of the KCS is nice. These military cars, you know, I've been on the fence on military stuff, so I'll probably do one of those. Those are cool. Twin stacks, you know, I have some Rail King double stacks. I don't really ever run them, but I'm just not a modern person, but these are cool. I'll give them that. Tank cars and coil cars, the cranes, you know. I'm eventually one day going to do the Lionel crane that does all the features on it. It has the boom that goes up and down, the hooks and all that. So, one day. But, you know, you got to think that's worth the $400 or whatever it is. You know, these uh, manual, nah. If I was going to do it, do it right. You know what I mean? So then we got into passenger cars, and that's where I stopped. So, but that's basically going to do it for this video here in the catalog. Like I said, it was okay. You know, I, just, I really wish MTH would improve their switchers. It's time. But that's it. So let me know what you guys think on this catalog and what you like, what you don't like. If you like me and thought it was okay, let me know that too. But uh, until the next one, guys, you take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Which the next video, I've actually got it in my editor. It's going to be a video on, a, on how to edit and change sound sets on engines, on MTH engines, that is. So look for that soon. So until the next one, guys, you take care. We'll talk to you later.